ദ ഡയറി ഓഫ് എ ബയോമെഡിക്കൽ റെസിഡൻറ്റ് ഒക്ടോബർ ട്വൻറ്റി തേർഡ് ഓൾ ദോ ആം റൈറ്റിംഗ് ദിസ് എൻട്രി അറ്റ് എ ലെറ്റർ ഡേറ്റ് ദിസ് ഹാപ്പൻ ടുഡേ ഇറ്റ് വാസ് ആഫ്റ്റർ എ ലാപ്സ് ഓഫ് ടു ഓർ ത്രീ വീക്സ് ദാറ്റ് ഐ കെയിം ടു സി ഗവൻ അറൌണ്ട് എയ്റ്റ് ഇൻ ദ നൈറ്റ് വെൻ ഐ റാൻ ഇൻ ടു ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് പ്ലേസ് വോൾഡ് ഓവർ ദ ഗേറ്റ് ആൻഡ് നോക്ട് ഓൺ ദ ഡോ ഹി ഹാഡ് ബീൻ വാച്ചിങ് ന്യൂസ് ഓൺ ദ എസ് എൻ എൻ്റെ ടെലിവിഷൻ ഗവൻ ഹാഡ് കം ടു നോ ഇൻ ദി ആഫ്റ്റർനൂൺ ദാറ്റ് ദ വോ ബിറ്റ്വീൻ എസ് എൻ എൻ ദിഗ ആൻഡ് വായ മെദിഗ ഹാഡ് ഫ്ലാഡ് അഗെയിൻ ഈവൻ അറ്റ് ദ ടൈം ഐ അറൈവ് ദ ന്യൂസ് ഹാഡ് ബീൻ എയറിംഗ് ദ ലാസ്റ്റ് പെയർ ഓഫ് വോണ്ടിങ് മെയിമിങ് ആൻഡ് മേഡർ ഇൻ ദ ബോത്ത് സൈഡ്സ് ഓപ്പണിംഗ് ദ ഡോ ഗവൻ വാസ് ഡം സ്റ്റക്ക് ടു സി മീ അറ്റ് ദ ടൈം ഓഫ് ദ ലൈറ്റ് ഐ ബ്ലേഡ് ഔട്ട് ഇൻ എ സിംഗിൾ ബ്രത്ത് ദാറ്റ് എ ഗ്രൂപ്പ് വാസ് ചേസിംഗ് മീ ദാറ്റ് ഐ വുഡ് ബി മീൻസ് മീറ്റ് ഇഫ് ഐ ഗോട്ട് കോട്ട് ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഐ നീഡ് എ പ്ലേസ് ടു ഹൈഡ് ഹി അണ്ടർസ്റ്റുഡ് മൈ സ്റ്റോറി and its gravity there's no place to hide a living person in this house mate there is something else we can do though gavin said somewhat thoughtfully i pleaded that he quickly did whatever it was okay come in to me when he said that at once i couldn't understand what he meant what do you mean i mean leave yourself and come into my body gavin said in his usual thoughtful and caring voice how could i do something like that I didn't want to become a burden to Gavin. I only wanted to hide from the murderous mobs that was chasing me, waving swords and clubs, screaming, "Why am I the bastard?" I was hoping to stay out of sight in some way in Gavin's home and move to some other safe place the following night. At that moment, we began to hear the blood-curdling cries of that mob from the street. "Listen to me. Don't waste time," Gavin said steadfastly. Have you asked Selma about something like this? I remembered asking guiltily. Gavin's response was instant. I'll tell her later. Now do as I said. But unable to do it and all conscious, I stared into his eyes. Do you want to get killed now? Gavin asked impatiently, probably because the noise of the mob was getting closer and louder. Okay, let's say I came in to you. Where can we hide my body? I asked because I honestly had no idea about it. There are enough and more places in this house to hide a lifeless thing. He could hardly finish the sentence when someone started banging on the door. There is no time for discussion, my friend. Come in to me. Faced with the warm-hearted invitation and command, I simply melted and dissolved. Though with reluctance, I had no alternative. The banging on the door became louder. I left myself and crept into Gavin's body. It took only a moment to do that. Another second and there may not have been someone left to write this diary entry. Gavin. Also now Asaro was inside him, quickly folded into Asaro's body, into an unrecognizable bundle and hid it in a corner of the fridge among the vegetables, fish and other food stuff. Someone was banging on the door hard enough to pull it off the hinges, but the door was stood firm. Finally Gavin opened the door swords and knives flashed in the lamp lights Gavin was lassoed and thrust by the hostile looks Why can't you open the door when the someone knocks demanded one of the group angrily Gavin had an instant answer Is this my house or your house I decide when to open the door when you knock I was doing something I couldn't leave anyway the door is now open isn't it The mob seemed to become somewhat subdued by the clear Esenadiga identity in Gavin's diction and the anger and confidence in his words. Didn't one of those bastard wyambers come to this way? asked one of the thugs subdued voices. Who are you talking about? I'm the only one here. I saw him jumping over the gate, muttered one of the gang to another. Can we take a look in the house? Maybe he's he has sneak into the house without Mahatya's knowledge if so by morning he will kill Mahatya and get away with the valuable in the houses in the house they are that type search if you want but without damaging my things gavin moved aside from the doorway as he did so he felt a sort of flinch like a car jerking when you change to a higher gear from a slower speed but there was nothing else that he could be done what's the point in searching a place where he isn't hiding Let's catch the bastard before he gets away. Too much time has already been lost. One of the mob turned the steering wheel. That's right. Yes, yes. Let's go. 
The flood changed in that direction. Gavin felt Asuro taking a deep breath using Gavin's lungs for the first time. Asuro felt Gavin joining in the breath wholeheartedly. October 24th. This is a new experience. After I separated from my own body, I became someone without a color, weight, or space. In short, to outside world, I don't exist. But I do exist. So, to do with to deal with the world and to experience things in the world, I had to get into Gavin's body. At other times, I stayed outside of Gavin. But at those times, without eyes, ears, or nose, the only way to experience the world was by instinctively sensing it. It's like going somewhere in pitch darkness, stumbling and dumpling into things.